Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. In today's video, we'll look at using the Buzzy Figma plugin to change how something displays based on a state or a value or some other criteria. So I've got a little to-do list app that I'm working on here. It's already started to take shape. I've marked it up, designed it in Figma, marked it up with the Buzzy plugin, and here it is. It's rendering my tasks. I can add, edit, delete these. There's a task. I can change the state, like mark it as completed or not. Um, so there we go, this one will be completed, but you'll notice in our menu here There's no indication that this task's been completed. I've got a space for some sort of a checkbox or an icon So let's go and get this working So if we jump to Figma, here's my design um, It's a plug-in um, So this is my menu uh, As we drill down is a you see it's a menu of results from a tasks micro app. This has all been marked up We'll jump down to our repeating menu item. So this is the template for those tasks that we saw on the working app. I've got a date, the title, and there's this space for a checkbox. So we need to change the display of this based on whether the item's been marked as completed or not. So if we drill down into this little template, I see I've got an icon cell here and I've got two things already designed. I've got a completed icon, so let's work on this. So we want this little checkbox to display if an item's been completed. So let's go do this. We need a markup. It's wrapped inside a frame, the check item itself. But basically, we need the wrapper to be a buzzy component of type layout because that gives us access to show hide formulas down here. Now, in this case, we want to only show this when completed is true, when the checkbox been marked as true. So this formula field here, this uses JSONata, and what it does, you input a formula there, it spits out a true or false value, and depending on that is when this condition gets met. So in this case, we're only gonna show it when this formula box here returns true. And in our case, we want to check the completed field. It's called completed. And I could type this as equals true, so it's checking for when it's true. But completed is a is a checkbox, so it's going to return true or false anyway. So if I strip this back to just completed, it does the same thing. It'll go and get the value of completed, which will be true or false. So that's as far as I need to go with the formula. Um, I'm using backticks around my field name because that's good practice. It strips out spaces or unwanted characters. And that's it, let's go publish. We update our Buzzy app and jump over to our preview. It's still refreshing. There we go, you see this tick has appeared. I go and click off, it's not checked. If I turn it on, there it is. So that's the first step done. Now the second step for this is a slightly more complicated scenario. So what happens if one of these tasks is overdue? I might want to indicate that as well. So if we jump back to my design, I have a design for that. Uh, this is slightly grayed out because it's an ignored item. I've just grayed them out so it's easier to see which one we're working on, which is this one up here. So when a task is overdue and the date is in the past and the item has not been marked as complete, we want to indicate that with these red states and icons here. So let's go look at the date layer first. There's my date wrapper. So And inside that is my value, which is returning. If we go here, it's pulling in a date value from the date field. I've got another wrapper here, which if I turn this one off, shows the date, the same value, it's just pulling in the same field value, but in this case, I'm rendering it in red. So we need to toggle these two, this one and this one, based on that date, whether the date's in the past and the item's been incomplete or not. So let's go to this is the overdue one. So again, the wrapper becomes a component of type layout. Um, we want to only show this one when that condition is met. The date's in the past 
and the item hasn't been marked as complete. Now the formula for this is slightly more complicated and I'm cheating because I've got it up here. I'm just going to copy and paste because there is no way I'll type all this without making a mistake. Um, we'll jump into... Okay, so here's our formula box. We Put that in there. So it's checking for the date to be in the past and completed does not equal true. So it's checking this. When this condition is met, it'll show the red version of the alert. The same time, we want to go to the normal version. We don't want to show the normal version of the date. We want to show the red version. So this one, same thing. We do the opposite though. It becomes a component of type layout. And in this case, we want to hide it when that same condition is met. So that's that for the date. Now let's go to the icon cell and it's going to be the same thing. So these two are mutually exclusive, like the rules that we're going to define for them. So in this case, for the overdue one, same thing, it becomes a component type layout and the visibility is same thing. We only show when this condition is met. So if we go and update our app, and jump back to our preview. So we'll note this task is in the past and it's marked as complete, it gets a tick. This task is also in the past, I'll take my word for it on the date, it's also in the past and it hasn't been marked as complete. So it's got this red X and the date has gone to red. If we mark this as completed, it gets the tick. If we mark it as incomplete, it gets the red alert state. So there you have it, simple state-based rendering using show and hide formulas with the Buzzy Figma plugin. Thanks for watching.